Hey everyone, my name is Mikey Vlahinos. I'm a senior application engineer at N Topology. Uh, the webinar today, or the quick N Top Live, is going to be on. Share my screen. Is going to be on ANSYS integration, particularly to um, CFX and Fluent. Uh, previously, we had to go through ISIM CFD, another module in ANSYS, but since then we've uh, improved that connectivity, uh, you know, simply by just updating our export file. So on screen we have a typical, you know, heat exchanger core. Uh, in this case, it's just a simple gyroid. And as typical, we simply extract our fluid domains that we see here in orange and blue. We'll focus in on just the cold fluid domain and we just go ahead and mesh that as we would any other way. Still nothing new. Uh, we have this export mesh block as well as these FE boundary by body blocks. These FE boundary by body blocks allow us to either define boundary conditions when we do our simulations, or in this case, we can use them to capture node sets on our meshes. So uh, these first four are capturing, let's say the inlet on the right and the outlet on the left in blue, as well as our heat sources at the top and the bottom here in red. The, the big thing for me is that we also now have the, the capability um, to export and capture these node sets on the gyroid surface or on the interface between the cold domain and the solid domain. Uh, this sets up the, the, uh, the flow path uh, in such a way and allows us to define the, the interface between those two so that we can set up conjugate analyses and actually do a conjugate simulation where we model not just fluid flow through the structure, but the thermal um, behavior through the, through the solid geometry as well. So we take these FE boundary by body blocks, uh, import them or set them into this export FE mesh block. And then we go about exporting this, this uh, mesh file as we would any other way, simply by just defining the drive that we want to put it in and selecting um, CDB, ANSYS Mechanical CDB. Uh, and then obviously defining your units and we'll touch back on that units here in a second. From there, uh, we can open up ANSYS. In this case, we're just gonna show it off in CFX. So you drag your component system, bring it onto screen and open up your, your setup. From here, we go file, import, mesh, and we'll navigate to the location that we have the, the CDB file in. And then from there, you just simply define the units that you brought uh, over from NTOP, and you can start to set up your analyses like you would any other way. So here we have ANSYS CDB, we define our mesh units, and import your file, and you'll get something that uh, we see here on screen. And so setting up our boundary conditions, we can see that we do indeed have these node sets that we've defined um, in NTOP. So our inlet and outlet, as well as the heat sources at the bottom and top there. And obviously this interface between the solid and fluid domain node set is defined as well. And now we can start to use these node sets uh, like we would with any other named selection or boundary condition that we would uh, work with previously. So for example, I've set up a user defined expression here to monitor the heat transfer coefficient on the gyroid surface so that we know when not only the model converges itself, but that the, the heat transfer coefficient on this wall um, has converged as well. And then finally, you can take these same set, uh, the same node sets or name selections and, and use them to evaluate your results. In this example file, I've only gone out to 100 iterations, so we've not fully converged, but uh, we can still, you know, view those results like in, like we would with any other analyses by, by capturing those node sets that we brought in, evaluating um, the, the, 
the different results that we want to. So in this case here, we have the, the heat transfer coefficient on that internal surface from the node sets that we've captured in NTOP. And this back and flow between NTOP and ANSYS, um, you know, can allow for repeatable, reasonable, and, and rapid design iterations. Uh, if you feel like you want to learn more, feel free to reach out to myself or anyone on the Entopology team. Find me on LinkedIn. Otherwise, I hope you stay safe and healthy. Thank you.